Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. First overdose, <clears throat> it was uh, on purpose. Um, the next two were accidental, and uh, the last one was on purpose again. And, uh, you know, when you do something like that and you make the decision to take your own life, you have to be a lost soul. When I say you get lost in addiction, depression, you lose <clears throat> who you are, you know. You forget the person that you were before that you made the, before you make the worst decision in your life. And, uh, you know, it's been so long, you know, <laughs> uh, I was, I was scared cause I didn't know who I was without drugs. Was I still going to be the person nobody wanted to be around or was I still a bad person? You know, because all the bad I've done, you know, I've always tried to do good to try and keep it balanced. And, uh, with the fire department, search and rescue, the military, all that. Uh, but you're never, you're never really whole. And, you know, I've known of God and known who He was, but I never really gave it all to Him. Even, you know, being here, uh, um, I think. I was here three weeks before I was ready to give it all and when I did uh, the burden that just was lifted off my shoulders was tremendous. Got here my mind got right and uh, started becoming spiritually stronger day by day and uh, you know it felt great you know, starting to get more active you know, working on the farm, going out on the job sites, um, kind of giving me purpose again. And uh, that's something I lost too. And it, I mean, it feels great to have it back. My parents coming to visit, you know, and, uh, whenever they do, they like to, to bring up stuff for the, the farm for all the guys, uh, whether it's coats, blankets, coffee mugs, you know, just anything. And unloading the car uh, one afternoon is my mom and my dad pulled up one Sunday and uh, they said they had a bunch of stuff in the back of the car seat to unload and uh, so I start uh, to pull out all these jackets and I call people over to help and you know I reach all the way into the car and <laughs> my daughter pops out from under these jackets. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I tell her that uh, I love her. I love her more than anything in this world. And uh, I tell her I promise I'll never be that man again. You know, uh, I'll be the dad I should have been since day one. JC Allen, I love you, baby girl. Can't wait to see you again. Talk to you soon.